Oh, new menu. So we're back in Ancient Dungeon and this is actually the first time we're gonna try it out like from the App Lab perspective. I actually tried out first, it was I think on Ichio or just the place where people did not even know about it. Second time around it was on SideQuest, much more polished. And now we're in App Lab, like official side questy thing from Oculus to see what's up with this update. It's kind of crazy to see overall growth of this game, but it's basically being made by just one person, you know, so this is pretty much the most promising thing that is on App Lab currently, up until Pavlov won't release. <laughs> and it's a big update, so some cute settings, everything set up, mods. Yeah, I still did not dive in with mods in this game, but I think it has potential to be cool as well, because whatever community creates usually is something cool. <laughs> so we're starting from this area, yeah, the campfire. Wait, go to the test area, okay. And who are you? I want to talk to you. Oh, okay, we have now kind of controller. We're the first ever since I've been here. Are we going inside? Yeah, wonderful. I mean, good, but look, because the stories are very impressive. True, the ancient dungeon is a very dangerous place. Yeah, I can hear, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna skip it. So basically it seems like we have perks now inside. I feel like this is something that we're gonna gather like after dying in a run. Then it transfers to the next runs. Just like classic RPG style things, you know? This is the floors. Yeah, more floors. Even the developer have some humor, okay? Objects, journal pages, milestones. Yeah, this is definitely way more detailed now. Dynamic core generator, new progression system, new enemies, new items, quest 2. Yeah, yeah, like I'm so happy that this game is on App Lab now. Run preparation custom. Customize? What do you mean? Oh, we can enter the seed. I know seeds from Minecraft and it basically says that you can jump to the concrete dungeon that you want to. We're gonna enter like that and see what's up. Overgrown gatehouse. Wait, we're starting way differently. Hello? Rebelling against the advice of... Ah, oh, this is lore. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> what is this? Curve string curve. Receive a dose of healing at the start of the next area. Yeah? Hello, behees. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Oh my god, wait, what the hell? That was not before the mechanic. They were just like walking towards you, not like fucking jumping at you. What the hell? <gasps> oh, caught me by off guard. Oh my god, <laughs> this game. <laughs> oh, shit, <and> <laughs> this is not a horror. Apparently. Hello, dude. They're literally jumping at you now. Like, what the hell? Really? They're like lunging. That's so scary. Oh my god. <laughs> now I have to be careful of everything that's happening here. Oh shit, I didn't read it. Oopsie. What did I pick up? Self Slayer, a dose of health with every purchase when visit the merchant. Wait, there's a button to give up. <laughs> the floors were not designed like that. Like, you would just go through the dungeon, but not like... Oh my god, he's gonna jump maybe here? Please don't. I'm gonna jump at you. Yeah! Okay. What the... <laughs> no! Ah, those flowers. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come at me. I mean, don't, actually. <laughs> it is so spooky now. Like, it just hits different. What was that? <laughs> okay, you know. Everything's trying to kill you. <laughs> like, those doors are, like, opening too suddenly for my taste. This is a merchant shop. Okay, it's different as well. Oh, no, I'm not breaking your vases, don't worry. Hello! Random mistakes, a single card took it and improves it. Oh, yeah, I don't have money, though. Yeah, sorry, dude. I hear something. <laughs> Fuck, are they gonna jump from here? Ew, I'm gonna reach you. <laughs> yeah, that works. Uh, he's calling. Oh my god, what the hell? Uh. Okay, works. This is now a horror game. Like, what the hell? It transferred from the adventure game to the horror. Can I dodge it like that? Oh, he's not lunging. So there are different zombies then. So that zombie who was lunging was new. What about you? Yeah, huh, okay. Those are actually fine with me. <laughs> Are you lunging? Oh, yeah. What the hell? No, 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 no. Oh, what the hell? What the? Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. No! Oh, damn. What's my HP? I think I'm dying, actually. Oh, yes. Oopsie. I think from destroying the crates as well, you can, like, find HP. Maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, shit. This is the lunging one. Yeah, no. I'll pass, dude. <laughs> Oh shit, this is a boss room. I'm not ready at all. Let's go to the shopkeeper actually. I think the gold on the map is that. My dude, can you help me? Increases your maximum health. Yeah. And I think I had perks to heal me when I buy something. Yeah, okay. Thank god. This map is very helpful actually. I don't know if it was here before, but now it actually feels like you're traveling through the dungeon and knowing where to go at the same time. Uh, yeah, I guess let's do the boss room. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Stop with the jump scares. Okay, King Slime is easier. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Bad. I love how derpy those like pixelated enemies are. That's like the whole charm of this game. Is that it's like Minecraft dungeons, but in VR. Okay, you can die. Oof, that was easy. Oh, here we go. Apples and stuff. What's this? Increases your damage, but decreases your maximum health. Ah, uh, no. Save and quit. Wait. Is this continuous dungeon though then? Huh, what is happening here? <laughs> Ah, oh, fucking hell, what the hell? <laughs> fucking Dark Souls. Press trigger on both controllers to sacrifice one key. I get money for it, okay. Oh shit, oh my god. <laughs> the level of just jump scares and just like the ambience is crazy. It's definitely way... Oh, damn it. What the? It's way more upgraded than it was. What this dude now does? Oh fuck, lunges as well. No, 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 no. Get out! Shit! And explodes. I'm heavy breathing here. So it's like a continuous dungeon then. There's no loading screens, there's just like kinda nothing happening. What if we quit to the main menu then? We can continue. So save and close was to like finish the dungeon but then continue from that moment onward. So I fucked up. <laughs> well yeah, so far it's so different from the previous version that I've played. But in a good way. Like it really feels like a full game now. With that much polish, just new enemies and just mechanics. But I hate that it turned to be like a horror adventure which, you know, is gonna be a selling point for this game anyways. But like, I love that it's getting developed by any means, so. I click give up and then we're getting inside. So, I was right that inside is gonna be like translated to the next runs. We only have four grotesque statues. What does that do then? The statue seems to spray powerful items, but those who use it are not so weakened. So I, I'm assuming after the dungeon, we're gonna have more things available for further runs. And before it was that we were just going randomly on the map, but now we actually have like a proper progression throughout the dungeons so that's definitely fun i mean i'm definitely gonna be following this game throughout its development journey because it is so cool and i'm sure it's gonna end up on the official store one day if we can't have minecraft at least we're gonna have this